Hello, I'm Jason, and I am Machines for Epic Robots. And as you may know, our competition season normally involves us building robot, competing against others in an in-person, international competition. However, due to COVID-19, first competitions have been limited to virtual challenges only. And in response to this, our team has decided to develop our own competition, give our team members the opportunity to grow their current skills in a competition setting, all while practicing the same COVID safety protocols we've had since the fall. The competition designed by our student leaders and mentors incorporates a new challenge, water. By introducing this element of water, our teams have been forced out of their comfort zones and have to use new, unique materials and manufacturing techniques to build this cool robot and game pieces for our competition. Now, another goal of ours was to work with an FRC team in this competition setting. So, we reached out to a few local teams to see if they're up to the challenge. One team, however, that we worked with in the past has stepped up to the plate and taken our fourth slot. That team is Ocular Rift. After everything was set, we got to work. Just like in traditional first competition, there are objectives to complete placed throughout the field, or in this case, the pool. In the game, pieces must be manipulated in some sort of way. Each competing robot must start the match in the launch zone. The match begins in a 30 second autonomous period. During this time, teams may compete the first few objectives that are a part of the game for a few more points than when the autonomous period is over. During the first objective, the robot must navigate through the breakwater barrier to the lighthouse, where they retrieve a stranded mermaid suspended over the water by a hook. As the robot travels, it must navigate between swimmers placed throughout the pool. Any swimmer that is hit will result in negative points. To retrieve the mermaid, the robot must press the lever to release the mermaid. There is a 3-inch ring in her tail, which can be used to grab the mermaid easier and return her to her sea bottom cave. The next objective is to drive a bow which has four people, a dog, and a barbecue on its deck. The dog and the people must be rescued from the burning boat, and the barbecue knocked off into the water. Teams that rescue evacuees while keeping them safe and dry will receive full points, and rescuing evacuees while partially touching the water will receive partial points. Each evacuee that remains unsaved at the end of the match will count as negative points. Rescuing the dog and returning him to the launch zone serves as a score multiplier for all positive evacuee scores and erases any negative points from unsaved people. Knocking the barbecue completely off the boat is another score multiplier for the overall score. There are also fires that can be put out by filling up targets with water, and points are awarded based on the extent of which each target is filled. The final objective is to pick up salvage rings located on the bottom of the pool each ring has a different colored diamond that designates which point multiplier is used when scoring salvage points. One or more rings may be received during the match. Lastly, each team will be scored on an engineering notebook. The notebook documents the process each team used to design the robot, and each team is expected to update this notebook on each meeting. Scoring is based on organization and documentation of concept sketches, CAD drawings, calculations done, pictures of the team, and a daily log. The team that has accumulated the most points by completing all these tasks will win the competition. Now, let the game begin. Hello viewers, and welcome to the Southern California Water Game 2021. Up first is Flex Tape Gang with their best attempt on the day. And Flex Tape Gang is off.
whistle signals the end of the match and Flex Shave Gang come out with a respectable 50 points. Next we have Team Goldfish. And Goldfish is off and swimming. That's the end of the match and Goldfish has also scored 50 points. Next is the Hydrophobes and they're off. That's the end of the match and the Hydrophobes only managed to score negative 10 points. Last but certainly not least is Team Ocular Rift. And they're rough and no doubt looking to create a rift in the score sheet.
Binocular Rift returns to launch bay as time winds down and they have scored a resounding 465 points. At this point, we'll talk about places. Who came in fourth place? Hydrophobes. Who came in fourth place? Okay, in third place, Goldfish. Second place goes to Flex Tape Game. Yeah! Alright, so let's move into our first place category. That only leaves one team, and that would be... We're going to talk about right now is design. So, a bunch of folks come together. Is there one way of doing this? No. No, there's not one way. Engineering takes a lot of creativity, right? Creativity. Putting brains together, talking about it, burning it out, fighting over my design's better than your design, whatever, right? So, um, we've got a variety of designs out here today. A variety of ways to address it. We've seen catamarans and we've seen single hull boats. Uh, but for our number one design, Oculus Rift. Thank you very much, guys. That wraps up our water game. Congratulations to the winning team. If you enjoyed this video, please consider watching our previous competition during the preseason or watch our safety videos. They're pretty neat. My name's Jason. Thank you for watching. And remember, stay epic.